Hello everyone, welcome to Royal Online Tutorials, the online education channel. Today in our video we are going to explain the law of increasing opportunity cost. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe my channel. First, we are going to define what do we mean by opportunity cost. It's the second best alternative that we give up or we forego when we make a certain choice or a decision. We can take an example. Let's uh, say we are attending class today. So what's the opportunity cost of attending a class today? It may be uh, not sleeping. It may be not uh, uh, going uh, to the work. Maybe not uh, being uh, able to study for another course. If we need to take the examples uh, shown here in this slide. So the opportunity cost of taking a vacation instead of spending the money on buying a new car is not getting or buying the new car. Even if you are going to have the opportunity between like uh, spending uh, uh, a trip vacation uh, in skiing or going to shopping so you are going to make one decision only one decision so let's suppose i will go to uh, pick the choice of uh, doing shopping so i will not enjoy spending the vacation trip and skiing the ppf production possibility frontier it's a graph showing the combinations of goods and services that can be produced if and only if all the society's resources are used efficiently. The law of increasing opportunity cost, we can say here like, as the output increases for either one of the goods on the PPF curve, the opportunity cost of additional units of that goods will be greater and greater. In order to understand it better, we are going to solve an exercise. The table below represents five points on the production possibility frontier for a country which produces only automobiles measured in thousands and wheat measured in millions of bushels. As we see in the table, we have five points, A, B, C, D, E. The automobiles moving from 0 to 10 to 20 to 30 to 40 and the wheat 100, 90, 70, 40 and 0. Before uh, we sketch the PPF, here the question, does the PPF demonstrate the law of increasing opportunity cost? We can prove it from the table and we can also prove it from the graph. Now we are going to, to show you how we can see it from the table before moving to the other slide to sketch the graph and to show you how to calculate it from the graph. Here, if the economy is at point A, the opportunity cost of an additional 10,000 of automobile, so it will be 10 million bushel of wheat, which is the difference between 100 and 90. If the economy at, is at point B. So the opportunity cost of an additional 10,000 of automobile, which is the difference between B and C, which is equal to 20 million bushels of wheat. If the economy is at point C, the opportunity cost of, of an additional 10,000 automobile, which is equal to the difference between C and D, that's mean 30 million bushels of wheat. And finally, if the economy is at point D, the opportunity cost of an additional 10,000 automobiles, it will be the difference between D and E, which is, mean, which is meaning that the number is 40 million bushels of wheat. Here, we can recognize that the opportunity cost of an additional 10,000 of automobile is moving from 10 million to 20 million to 30 million to 40 million. That means the number is increasing. So, we can say that the PPF is demonstrating the law of increasing opportunity cost. Now, we are moving to sketch the PPF. We can take the automobile in the x-axis. We can also take 
the bushels of wheat uh, and the y-axis and then we can take for the automobile 0 10 20 30 40 50 and for the wheat we can take 20 40 60 80 100 and then we can plot the points a b c d e like 0 100 uh, 10 90 20 70 30 40 and 40 0 and then we can plot the point and after plotting the point we can sketch the ppf curve so that is the ppf curve now if we are going to see if the ppf is demonstrating the law of increasing opportunity cost or not so first i'm going to start with point a if the economy is at, is at point a so an additional 10,000 of automobiles so the opportunity cost of an additional 10,000 we will reach the point B. That means it's the difference between 190, which is 10 million bushels of wheat. If the economy is at point B, the opportunity cost of an additional 10,000 automobiles, we will reach the point C. So which is equal to the difference between 90 and 70, it's equal to 20 million bushels of wheat. If the economy is at point C, the opportunity cost of an additional 10,000 automobile, so we will move from 20 to 30, we will get and reach the point D, so which is the difference between 70 and 40, which is equal to 30 million bushels of wheat. And finally, if the economy is at point D, the opportunity cost of an additional 10,000 automobile moving from 30 to 40, we will reach the point E, so it's the difference between 40 and 0, which is 40 million bushels of wheat. And as we can see, like the opportunity cost of an additional 10,000 of automobile moving from A to B, uh, to C to D and to E, it's like moving from 10 million to 20 million to 30 million to 40 million. That means the number is increasing. So we can say here, the opportunity cost of increasing the production of wheat rises as more automobiles or produced. That means the PPF is demonstrating the law of increasing opportunity cost. Now we can also see that sometimes we, we may have points within the area of the PPF here. And we can have also points outside the PPF. So the points inside the PPF are known as inefficient points. We can say the points are attainable. Like here we have the point F. But the problem here that they are not using the resources at the fullest. So at point F, if the technology or the resources are used at full capacity, then the economy could be at point C or B or D meaning more would be produced. All the points outside the PPF, we will call them unattainable points, like here point G. So here the point G could be attained only if the technology and resources increase. So the economy will be shifting its PPF to the right. Such movement is considered as an economic growth. Thank you for watching my channel.